Welcome back to your children. I hope you all are safe and healthy. I am sure you have completed the assigned tasks. Let's begin with our session 4. Petrochemicals. Petrochemicals are the useful substances that are obtained from petroleum and natural gas. They provide a raw material for the preparation of a large variety of substances. Petrochemicals are used as substitutes in the preparation of various limited articles like wood and metals. Petrochemicals are used in the manufacturing of other products that are not possible using wood, soil, metals, etc. They are used for making synthetic rubber, plastics, perfumes, fertilizers, explosives, varnishes, dyes and drugs. Petrochemicals are also used in the manufacturing of detergents, synthetic fibers, polyester, nylon, acrylic and polythene. A table that gives the information regarding the use of petrochemicals in our day-to-day -day activities in different sectors is shown on the screen. The petrochemical products that are used today were not in existence 50 or 100 years ago. Using these products to the maximum level caused a disposal problem and finally resulted in pollution of the environment, example, cheap plastics. Versatile nature of coal and petroleum. Coal mainly consists of carbons, while petroleum consists of hydrocarbons, hydrogen and carbon. Depending upon the number of carbons present, coal and petroleum make good starting material for other compounds. Carbon is very versatile. This versatile nature is the base for most of the materials. Considering the carbon nature, we can say that both coal and petroleum are good starting materials which are used for synthesizing a variety of useful compounds. Conserving coal and petroleum. The prices of diesel or petroleum, petrol, diesel, the prices of diesel or petrol is rising day by day. This hike depends on the usage and availability of the resource. Coal and petroleum being exhaustible resources are needed more for fuel as well as for starting materials for synthesizing new compounds. Since the supply is limited and the demand is increasing, the result is an increase in the price. To avoid this problem, alternatives are to be sought out which are impractical. Hence, the only way of conserving coal and petroleum is by reducing their wastage. The governments of different countries are searching for new technologies so that the use of fossil fuels is reduced. Misuse of energy resources and consequences In our day-to-day -day activities, we misuse many of the resources and fuels without thinking of the exhaustibility of these resources. Many examples can be listed for the misuse such as the use of bikes even for short distances, using dryers and washing machine instead of abundant sunlight available around us. The misuse of energy sources can be reduced by using simple measures such as walking or using bicycles for shorter distances, Using public transport facilities instead of individual vehicles if possible. Reducing the use of plastic bags by using paper or naturally manufactured bags. A few other measures are shown on the screen. Harmful effects caused during the use of fuels. Most of the harmful effects are caused due to careless handling of the petroleum products. A few examples are listed below. The spilling of crude oil and refined fuels from tanker ships into the sea causes damage to natural ecosystem and kills seabirds, mammals, shellfish and other organisms. When the fuels are burnt, they release carbon dioxide, greenhouse gases that cause climatic change and lead to global warming. The thermal power plants emit mercury, selenium, arsenic, lead, in addition to greenhouse gases. These are harmful to human health and environment. Many paints made from petroleum and heavy metals release toxic products into the air. These toxic products 
cause a variety of health problems including heart attacks, lung damage, nausea and dizziness. This, we have come to the end of our chapter Coal and Petroleum. Homework for today. Dear children, please complete the assigned tasks. Read the lesson for better understanding of the concepts taught. Explain the versatile nature of coal and petroleum.